Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be bringing you guys an easy everyday wig that could literally be a celebrity wig. This unit is ready to go right out of the package. And guess what? I did not lay this unit down. I didn't have to use any harsh gels or anything on my edges because we trying to save those. If you've been following me for a while, you all know that I wear wigs very very often now although my edges are strong and i can handle gossipy glue on a regular i can handle even wig glue on my edges which i don't use very much everyone doesn't have the same experience and their edges may be a bit more fragile some of y'all are walking around here and you're looking really good but up under those units your edges your hair is suffering so let me help you out <laughs> You don't have to do all that extra, girl. Uh, start applying some Jamaican black castor oil to those edges. Also, aloe vera juice is really good for those who have alopecia or who are suffering from hair loss. So you may want to try spritzing some of that on your edges as well. And if you're going to go about wearing wigs, I'm not against wigs. Y'all know I'm all about a good wig. But you don't always have to use the gels, use the glues and things like that. If you're noticing that your edges are thinning, start nurturing them back to health and only putting on a wig that maybe you can use an elastic band or that you don't actually have to secure down using some form of product. If your edges are thinning, feel free to wear wigs. I feel like those honestly are the best protective styles that you can wear because it doesn't require any manipulation on your hair. If your hair is super short, you could just slick it back Put on a stocking cap, throw your wig on. And even if your hair is long, you could just twist it up like I do. I only have mine in two large chunky twists and I just pull my hair back um, and I just pinned it with, the, with bobby pins. I also sometimes just plait it up in the back. If you're using cornrows every time, that can be good, especially if you're gonna be wearing wigs for weeks at a time. So then your hair is only subject to added tension and manipulation just for the moment that you're braiding your hair but it gets a break for like a week or so so only do cornrows if you're going to be doing it that way but i try to avoid even cornrows as often as possible because those i find especially with my texture that it hurts and i'm having a pull tug and i could just feel my hair breaking sometime so try to even under your wigs make sure you're taking care of it you're moisturizing it you're using a product that has a good amount of water in it Water should be the first ingredient. That's gonna be very helpful in knowing whether it's gonna be a good product for your hair because our hair needs moisture. And that moisture predominantly should be coming from water. And y'all let me know in future videos if you all would like to see a hair prep video, how I go about making sure my hair is maintained and that it's healthy under my wigs as well. I know I'm talking a bit about how to save your edges in this one, but if you guys would like to see a detailed video on that, I can do that for you guys as well. So I'm gonna show you all how I installed this unit. It was so, so easy. I really honestly can't even believe that I was able to get this type of slay without it being a lace front or anything. Y'all, this is a lace closure unit. Some of you guys have been asking that I do lace closure units. This one, I'm not melting lace or nothing like that. Celebrities don't do any of that. Y'all never see them with their units really late like we're doing. We just be doing extra, but them, they really need something that's really quick, really easy. They can be on set with, just throw it on, lay it down, and they ready. And it looks natural. I feel like this unit looks so natural. And the only thing that I applied to it was some wrap lotion. I applied this Nairobi Rapid Shine. Right of the package, this is what the unit looked like. It is a straight hair unit, but for some reason, it kind of has some waves in it. And I was gonna press them out, but I decided that I really kind of like how it's flowing. It really looks effortless. It looks like I maybe put a little bump to it, but I didn't. I got this unit in Lint 24 and it is so, so long. It literally comes well past my waist, it's touching my bum. <laughs> And um, yeah, it looks so good. The hair is really silky, really soft, tangle free. And I love, I put this unit on literally in like three minutes or less. 
Who is not down for that? I am all about quick and easy. Now it was not parted the way that you see it currently. It was just flowing backward. So then you could have the flexibility to decide if you wanted a middle part, side part. What I've noticed often is many individuals when they get a four by four closure or just a lace closure in general, they generally think that they can only do a middle part. But as you can see, you can do a side part with this unit. You are limited in the amount of parting space that you have, but with these type closure units, they're much more beginner friendly because you don't have the fuss of having to figure out what do I do with my edges. If your hair is straightened already or if it's the same texture as the unit that you're wearing, you can either sweep it behind your ear or just allow it to flow down by the sides and not expose the lace or any of the side of the unit. So that's what I've done currently. So for this particular unit, it is a four by four closure. So you get four inches in width and you get four inches in length. So it's gonna stop about right here. A four by six is more ideal, but you can still get a really realistic look with a four by four, as you can see. It looks really great, guys. And I tend to go for lace fronts because those I feel like I can have a little more fun with and I can do more parting and more styling options and things like that. But for the more everyday, realistic individual who's wearing wigs and doesn't have a whole lot of time to do all the extra stuff that I tend to do, this is the kind of unit that you should go for. It's super beginner friendly. And I love that with a lace closure, it's easy to lay it down. So, and this unit is actually in 180% density. It's full. And I feel that if you were to go down to 150, because the 180, I feel like it's full enough for me. If you go down to 150, you're still gonna have a good amount of hair. This is an effortless, beautiful unit that you can throw on and be ready to go in no time. It is gorgeous. And look at that natural sheen and luster this hair has. It looks healthy. And it, it looks and feels like good quality hair. So I love, love, love that. So that's the end of this video. I hope that you all enjoyed it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in my next one. Love y'all. Bye, guys. What? What?